Half a day. Welcome to JLo's So Hot, So Tasty Kitchen. This is my playground where I enjoy teaching you recipes with love. Caligwin is a Chamorro delicacy. That is one of my favorites that I would love on my dinner table. Comment below and tell me what is your favorite Caligwin. I want to teach you how to prepare a Chamorro recipe called Guianenglis, or in English you can call it Salmon Finadeni. Maybe this can be your favorite dish on your dinner table tonight. The ingredients we need to prepare Guianenglis or Salmon Finadeni includes salmon collar, green onions, onions, baby tomatoes, lemon powder, salt, water, hot pepper, and some hot water as well. All right, let's begin by preparing our finadeni sauce for our guanenglis. We will need one cup of water. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. We will need salt, which is about three teaspoons. We will need lemon powder, which is about four teaspoons. Now, if you don't have lemon powder, you can use uh, fresh lemon juice. You can use that as well. Now let's go ahead and mix this together. I want to be sure to mix it well so that the lemon powder and the salt dissolves in the water. Now we want to go ahead and add four hot peppers. I cut this up. Now you can also use ground peppers or Duddy to Nancy. So we're going to add that to this. And also depends how spicy you like your finadeni salmon. Now it's also good to prepare your uh, sauce ahead of time so that. The next ingredient I'm about to put in here can uh, cook over time while you're waiting for the final step. So we have here one small onion. And go ahead and pour that in there. Give that a stir. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and add our baby tomatoes. I had cut up about 12 pieces here. Just cut it in half. Go ahead and add this to the sauce. All right, so the last ingredient I'm gonna put into this finadeni is green onions. And I used about four stalks. Now, depending how much you like in there, I like lots of onions. And I just like the color just how vibrant the color is. With all this different ingredient up in this finadeni. All right, so we're gonna use the remaining of this, but we'll wait till we put all the salmon in and then add it to the mixture. All right, so we're gonna set this aside and work on our next step. All right, so the next step that we are going to do is we are going to uh, place our salmon collars. Now I had pre-washed this and I had scaled off the remaining scales that was on it, cut them up into little pieces, and this is about eight salmon collars. 
Okay, what we're gonna do is we are going to pour hot water into this to allow it to cook. So you don't need a lot of hot water, but it's just to cook your raw salmon collars. All right, so just gently stir it in with the hot water. And you can see that the pinkish color of the salmon is turning a different color now with the hot water mixture. Now you want to do this for about two minutes. All right, as you can see that the salmon had changed color while we added that hot water in here. So we're gonna go ahead now and drain this and I will be right back. All right, so I drained out all the juice out of this. Now our next step, we are going to add our finadeni sauce to the salmon. Just pour that in. All right, so what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna go ahead and give that a stir. Now the lemon is gonna cook the salmon collars even more. Wow, look at that. Comment below and share with me, have you ever tried this recipe? And if you do plan on preparing this recipe, please share with me how it, how it tastes and how did it go. Okay, so we're gonna add the remaining of that green onion that I had left over. Cause like I said, I love me some onions. Now you can also add uh, fresh string beans to this if you like but I've only known how to prepare it just like this but I'm sure it tastes really good with some fresh string beans yummy all right so this is our guianangles or salmon finadeni now you wanna store this in your fridge for about two to three hours and enjoy this over some steamed rice or with some tatitas. Speaking of that, check out my playlist, how to cook rice, how to make tatitas, and other types of Kelleguin that I had also prepared. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe haven't subscribed like the video comment on the video and just share with me how you feel about this dish would you eat this dish and don't forget to share this with your friends and family all right we'll see you again